Hi, I'm Alejandra. And my name is Juan. And this is our love story. Uh, we've been dating for eight years. Eight years, yeah. It'll be nine years, years this year. Eight years and finally going to get married. <laughs> 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 and we met through a mutual friend used Patrick, to be yeah. one of his Patrick. really good friends and I worked with him mm-hmm. at first Juan didn't even want to meet me my so, friend, our friend would say oh I want you to meet someone He'd be like okay I'm ready to meet him and he did not want to meet me <laughs> get true. say no 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 <laughs> and eventually um, we finally met we met at a one of his friend's birthday parties. Yeah, Michael's birthday party. Yeah. In Lamont, good old Lamont. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's funny because on my way to meet him for the first time, oh, man. I got a flat tire and he called me and was like, are you not coming? I said, I am, but I got a flat tire. He did not believe me. <laughs> so he made his friend drive to where I said I got a flat tire just so they could see. <laughs> That I had flat tires. She was telling the truth. (laughs) They didn't even stop to help me. (laughs) They just kept driving. (laughs) He didn't tell me that story until like, I want to say like three or four months after we have been dating. (laughs) It's just funny. I just didn't want to be that creepy guy that that pulled up. Hey, you okay? I don't want to be that guy. But yeah, it was, wasn't my best moment. (laughs) And I could, I think we instantly fell for each other because a week later is when we made it official. So we only t- talked for about a week. Yeah. And the then, fountain, yeah. yeah. And then, fountain. any best memories? Um. I think one of my best memories is when we first found out about our first daughter when we were going to have our first daughter. That's one of our best memories, just because it's us starting our family together. Yeah. It was just a new chapter for us. That happened very fast, too, but <laughs> it was still very not, exciting. Not too fast. Too fast. <laughs> yeah, I think um, finally having an opportunity to be a dad was, was pretty exciting for me. Like, I was, I know I was, I was kind of ready to be a dadder, but then once she sent me that picture, yeah, I was like, oh, damn, <laughs> this is really going to happen. It's crazy. <laughs> That little pea stick. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've had some fun dating. We would always, every time we'd go out on dates, we would always go to like amusement parks and everything. And it was always so funny because compared to him, I'm very short. I'm only 4'11", so he would have oh. to help me onto some of the rides. <laughs> like, lift me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's not lying. It's true. <laughs> Um, and he didn't propose until eight years later. No, oh. seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Seven, seven years, years later. At our fountain. Yeah. yeah. And he, fountain. we, there's a fountain by P of Chang's and we always say that's our fountain because that's where we made it official when we first started dating. And mm-hmm. then we would always, we would always just go there just to sit, relax, talk to each other. And then that's where he proposed to me. And I had no idea he was proposing. I was caught off guard. <laughs> we had gone to dinner, and um, then we were we went to the fountain. And I remember just sitting there. We were talking, and I remember in the corner of my eye, I seen a lady with two girls, like two little girls. And it was late at night, and I thought it, she was so crazy because I was I was like, who would bring their children out this late at night? Like, and I turn around, and it's my daughter's. <laughs> with one of his sisters <laughs> and then <laughs> when I turned back around to look at him that's when he was down on one knee and he was proposing to me and it was very special having him do it with my daughters with there girls. as well yeah. it was very nice how do you remember proposing uh, I was kind of nervous like the whole process of either getting the right ring and making sure you that be a ring you would like yeah, it's pretty stressful. It's a ring that I can't wear anymore because uh, it doesn't fit small. me. Yeah, it's too small. Now. Yeah, I had I had the ring for a while. We're the whole plan was to um, we we're supposed to go to Hawaii before COVID hit, and then um, had the ring then, and we ended up 
we booked a plane ticket and everything, and um, got canceled. Uh, it got canceled on this, <laughs> so I was like, I got the next best place is Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> well, not the next best place, but closest. Yeah, yeah the closest it had to be in Bakersfield. So I mean, much, really much rather anywhere. be it, much rather be in Hawaii, but yeah, it was in Evan and Bakersfield. But yeah, it ended up being nice. It was at a fountain where we uh, first first uh, made it official that we were gonna be together, and mm-hmm. yeah, ended up actually being real nice. Yeah. Our girls were there. My sister was there. She recorded her shoes the whole time, but we told, I guess she was supposed to record the proposal and the reaction. She, but she had the camera down. She was so. watching, and the camera was watching the floor. <laughs> so it was a good shot of her shoes. But I was about it. <laughs> and then um, I'm ex- the one thing I'm excited about the wedding is I'm really excited to put on the dress and then walk down the aisle, and hopefully he's crying. That's what I'm excited about. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually pretty excited because it's, it's, it's been a long time coming. We haven't, um, uh, well, it's time for us to take the next step and uh, I should be married and give her my last name. Yeah. <laughs> and then be with all of our uh, our loved ones that are really important to us around it to share uh, the memory. Celebrate. Our memory. Yeah. yeah. Our memory. It's going to be real nice. We're excited. Yeah, pretty excited. It's like 70 days away. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> Cutting it close. <laughs> and then... Um, love to me is just being with someone who cares unconditionally about you and no matter what, they're always there for you. And to me, that's what love is. And he always provides that sort of love to me. And to have that comfort, it's really nice. Love to me is um, finding someone that you can be happy with and even the ups and downs, they're always going to either give them the best opinion, even though you might not like it, it's going to be <laughs> the best opinion for you or the best. She sees you the best way. If that makes sense? Um, yeah, I, I understand. Just, yeah, there you go. <laughs> See? It just, um, that's love to me if I can to find someone that uh, makes you better and you guys are always happy mm-hmm. and you do make me better. <laughs> and that's our love story. <laughs> <laughs>